Hello Tab Nation, it's your boy Tom, and today <clears throat> we're going to be doing uh, version 2 auto hotkeys. I uh, got two examples here. Uh, we're going to be doing, in this one, is HTML in a GUI. Uh, obviously, HTML is kind of boring on its own, so I have some more videos coming out to expand on it. You know, JavaScript, uh, CSS even. And uh, so we're going to take a look at that. You know, it's kind of a cool idea. I've used it before. Not a lot, but it's a cool idea. So starting off with our script, we're just putting requires HKV2 uh, plus symbol. That means it basically can use anything that's V2. So regardless if it's, you know, 2.1 or 2.2, <clears throat> as long as I have V2 somewhere on my computer, it's going to work. So it's just going to take whatever is the default one. Uh, so we got our hotkey here. We're just using F1. Obviously, with uh, V2, everything needs to be enclosed in uh, curly brackets to create a function. So I got that here and here. Um, yeah, so I found this guy's random website. I just simply Googled, like, uh, simple HTML website. So I don't even know anything about this website, but this is his website. So I'm using it as an example. I thought it would be kind of funny. Uh, let me actually open it real quick. So we can do a comparison. Ah, uh, here we go. Oh, there it is. So not very big, but uh, here's his website. It's purely HTML. And, uh, you know, he's written software. It just has a bunch of random links. So hopefully this guy gets some random views and he's kind of like, what the heck, why is my website suddenly getting random opens? <clears throat> uh, so yeah. So basically, we need our uh, variable here. I'm just calling it URL, whatever you want to call it. You uh, obviously need to say equals with the dots in the front and in quotations put the uh, website. Uh, with this, I have realized you do need to make sure the HTTPS is at the beginning. Uh, it gets a little wonky if you don't. If you just put like www dot and then the uh, information, it doesn't really like that. That's fine. Easy enough. Uh, URL. We're then taking that, we're doing it, we're doing like an HT, uh, HTTP request through comms, by the way, here. Uh, so this is also, I guess, kind of a comm video, but mostly GUI. So right here, um, to be completely honest, I'm not sure what post is right here used for. If I get rid of it, it just breaks it, so. It's one of those things, I guess. But if you guys know what it, the purpose of that is, let me know. Uh, seems to need to be there even though it's not being called anywhere kind of weird to me but it's one of those things if you remove it it breaks it so yeah <clears throat> so we're just taking the url basically doing some stuff throwing it back into the url if you want to see what it's actually grabbing you can always have a message box here with your variable that would just kind of show you like the raw html if you want uh, i have that comment out that's just there so you know it's a possibility it's good for testing purposes uh that sort of thing uh so next what we gotta do is we need to actually do our request uh through com so right here we're doing our com object you know we're doing an http request uh so basically you just need to do this here uh we're calling it web you can call this whatever you want as long as they all match that you see are highlighted here uh basically yeah so we're gonna do open we want to open the URL, we want to send our request, and then we want to wait for the response, obviously, because, you know, it might take a second. And then we're going to return that response uh, text that we get, which is just the raw HTML. So pretty simple. This is all one function right here that's inside of our main function. <clears throat> but yeah, I don't think there's much to talk about there. I've done other videos breaking this down a lot more, so some of the stuff I'm just kind of briefly going over. Uh, so then we're going to create a GUI. I'm not going to talk about GUIs uh, and how to build them, just because I've done tons of videos in V1 and V2. Uh, but basically, what you want to do is, down here, you create your GUI. You know, what do you want the title to be? I just called it a website. Show it. That's when you actually display it. Um, yeah, uh, and then we're using ActiveX here. Just something to throw out there. I think that's about it here. Um, you just want to make sure this URL uh, is the same as whatever variable you're using up here. So that's really the big thing that you need to watch out for in your code versus mine. 
is you know wb document dot write and in parentheses url it's pretty simple you just create a gui and you just want to display this using the activex which is up here like i said um yeah so let's go ahead and run that i have a second example i'm going to show you um so let's make sure i don't have any other scripts running looks good testing one all right i think it's running very appears to be never resigned yeah whatever that's weird uh, so we're going to do f1 and there it goes so there is the website as you saw just pure html it matches his um that error code is easy to fix it's just i need to make it more like a global thing at the beginning so it knows what's up uh, but it'll still work um but yeah so basically that's what we got uh just gets the html you know it has even what the links are if you click it obviously i would need to make it so that it can get the html from the new website because right now it just doesn't know where to go so you would need to do the request for each one you do uh, which would involve basically going in getting all the urls and all the extension link part of it and just kind of doing that so the second one i want to show you is f2 um, basically we're doing all the exact same thing here the only difference is um we're doing this built in uh with our html so here i have html instead of url and as you see here's some html code uh right here another way you can do it also is actually just have it do a file read so if you have an html file on your desktop or a text file that has html in it uh you can get it that way too so that way if you don't your internet's down or the website goes down this is another way to do it where it will still work uh, without the need to do the request so you don't need to do the request which i have here but we're not going to need to do that so this can disappear <laughs> same exact gui basically uh everything's uh, going to be the same here um i guess down here i did have it doing html and spitting it out oh, i guess i did not but let's see so f2 Fix some stuff here. Let's relaunch that. There we go. So, as you see, this is an example. That is in here somewhere. You no know, title is example. Body, this is an example. So that's our HTML. So as you see, I deleted that... Um, request function because obviously we don't need to request it we have the data right here and then i just had to change that right uh the document dot right to html to match what was up here versus url uh but yeah all the other gui codes going to be the same just manipulate it to the way you want and that's pretty much it uh <clears throat> let me know what you guys think about this have you ever done this before what uses do you see for it I do have another video where I'm going to show you how to then incorporate JavaScript into HTML, or sorry, into uh, a GUI with HK, and also CSS. Uh, just fun videos. Uh, let me know what you guys think. Hit the like button if you want to see more like this, and I will see you all on the next one. Have a good one.